Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I'm back with another 6x6 mini chipboard album using die cuts with a fuse, Mademoiselle paper stack, and I love, love, love this paper stack. And I love the couture too. Um, but this I had so much fun playing with and look how thick this is. It, it's just huge. It's like, it's a lot of space for, um, rooms for journaling and pictures, but I just love playing with the paper. It's, it's nice size. It's a 6x6 six six chipboard, and um, it's bound using my pop tab, pop tabs, and I did something a little differently this time. I just didn't uh, poke them through here. I used, I um, cut out, let's see, a rectangle out the siding of the paper, and then pull the pop tabs through. It just adds a different interest, I think, to, like, the whole mini album. So, um... And then I use this wine colored sheer ribbon to tie through the pop tabs and then they connect on the sides here. Sorry, I kicked the camera. I can see that it's frozen. And um, so I use this, what I was saying, this sheer um, ribbon to tie them so they can connect. He's so cute. I love it. And I use this treasure's nest um, ribbon rolls on the side right there. And it's on this side too. And then the back, I just added some of the pattern paper to match the front. And then I have this um, uh, button that I cut the feet off of. And it has like a little um, crown on there, which matched perfectly with the crown that I have on the front. And this is some muslin that I cut and sewed um, to use to tie my mini up. And it's, so the muslin is attached to these flowers that I've been making with a little aluminum rolls in the, in the middle of it. This is a sheer fabric that's used on this, the um, binding. And then I just tea dyed um, some of, with a regular tea bag and hot water, some of the muslin and I cut them up in triangles and then layered them. So they'll look, it'll look like one of those headbands. Like you see people with the, the headband with the big thing on the side like the big one of these on the side paper hair clip it's so cute that's what made that's what it made me think of when I did that so I love it and this is the crown that I got from Tina um, dream big lover um, matches perfectly with the collection I didn't do too much to the front I used the one scrap uh, bling on the front and I used some pearl trim that I've glued to top and then each of the corners have one um, flat back pearl and I think I said I popped these up. This and then there's a perfume bottle and another butterfly up here on Pop Dots. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. So anyway, this is a um, magnetic closure. So it closes like that. And then there's, I just had cut out, I uh, downloaded some images from the internet or purchased some in images from the internet. And, and then I put it on the back to cover the... Um, the this is the back of the glue and put the magnet there cute okay let's get started oh this album will be up for sale on my ebay um it just it it's i'm in a mini album just run and i i'm loving making mini albums and putting them up because i have a i have a lot of mini albums here and b i just like making them with no um, strings attached you know you just you make them you go with your creativity and it's not like a theme a boy theme a girl it's just utilize the paper so it's uh, it's very soothing of course we all know that as we are scrappers but at any rate this will be on eBay click below um, to go to my blog which is www.scraptheworld.blogspot.com and I'll have a link if you're interested in bidding on this item so here it is and oh, I keep bumping the camera sorry guys so this paper, this side is actually okay, free and available for you to use whatever you want to use it for. But it's the Lady Couture paper. So mix and match. This is uh, I think I'm, I used it uh, one more time in the min, in the mini. So you can do whatever you want to do with that. But I love that background. And this page bling, it's all blinged out. You can see. Look at all of that. That's just the paper speaking for itself. All I added was a iron rose flower. I have some of that one scrap bling all running throughout here. And I stick up the perfume bottle. And you can just use this as a photo mat. Of course, you guys know that. Or a title. Title page. Okay. Here we have 
um, a flip, like a flip mini album. And then this front could be used as a picture. And I have just some Eline flowers and a flat back pearl. I had some other stuff here, but it kept rubbing up against these flowers over here. So I didn't want it to be um, just an annoyance for whoever gets the mini. So we have that page. And then it flips up to reveal journaling. And all of them have the same journaling spot. Here's another photo opportunity with some pretty lace, black lace trim that I bunched up at the bottom. Still journaling up there. This is kind of a green plaid. I got some more one scrap bling here, pearls. This is the Treasure's Nest um, ribbon rose. I love that. Love it. Journaling. And then another picture. This is like um, um, cream color, like notebook paper or journaling spot. Let's see. Try to bring it up so you can see. And then I have some lace trim and then a row of flat back pearls. So. Lots of place for there. Real estate. That's the word I was looking for. Everybody says real estate. It has real estate. Hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have had, uh, yeah, let me find this bottle here. This will be my, I haven't opened it yet, but this. I'm on these. Frappuccinos. Yeah, they're good. So, as you can tell. So anyway, this one has the, it's a pocket page uh, using the Tim Holtz Baroque die. And I've dyed the out, used the outside of it as a frame. And then all of these come out for your pictures and journaling. Cute. This is the mini Baroque with an iron rose flower. Place for journaling there. This is the bigger Baroque. And then I cut this one out on my using my Cricut journaling. And then another I am Rose with my favorite, favorite top note guy. And um, you can do journaling here, a couple of I am Rose as far as there. Or you can use it as a photo opportunity. So there's also one up here, too. So that's cute. And it just tucks back in there like I was trying to do like a bouquet. And I got it mixed up. Anyway, that was over there. But you get the point. Here is another page. I... Um, also downloaded these images. This girl is like fast. Like as soon as I PayPal'd her, this was in my inbox. Um, I don't know. I don't have her name here. Darn. Sorry. But anyway, I downloaded this image and then I used some, if you can see that crackle paint. It's so shiny. Backed it up on chipboard. And then I um, glimmer misted this ribbon. It was white. And then added some flat back pearls. Of course, some more treasures nest. This is from the paper collection and it's a Velcro places for journaling and pictures there's a trifold and then there is this thing that flips out from the paper collection with a little pearl I love that a hidden opportunity love it because you can just put a big old picture here and then pull out to write so love it this page is just so glamorous look at the paper itself is gorgeous and then there's the wanna bring want to scrap bling and then here is so cute I really love this It's a it was a brooch that I found um, and it's it's aluminum but it has purple bling um, purple and pink bling so shiny I hope it's coming up but I thought that went perfectly okay guys page. now we have oh sorry hit the camera Wait for it to catch up. Okay. So now we have another. These colors are so gorgeous. It's yellow. I love it. Um, this is my wonky stitching just because I love the way that that turns out. And um, I have some aluminum roses here with some um, straight bling connecting each of them, each together. Some iron roses down here. And these are handmade. I love these. They're rolled flowers with the, um, with the black flower in the middle from iron roses as well as here. And then this is cut off from my Cricut using the paper collection. Huge place for a photo opportunity. Love it. Okay. The next page is um, it's a book. But you can put book. <laughs> that was funny. Um, you can put a big photo mat. This is a big area for a photo mat. And this is little cute shoe um, here. It's just too cute. I love it. Look at that shoe. Love it. And then here are some iron roses flowers and another here you can see the rolled flower in a color. So cute. And then here is the book that goes in there. Now you can put a, pic a picture here and then this is a flap that op that's that's open. So you can put, you know, uh, a mem memorabilia in there. 
But this is a cute little book I made, and this paper is from Lady Couture as well. And I just lined it with some of the paper stack, some of the yellow paper stack that goes with this flower to kind of tie it all in together, which goes with the yellow that's in here. So it all kind of coordinates. And then I made a hand, a charm, and made charm. And look at this little shoe. It's a sling back shoe, guys. How cute is that? Here. Cute. I can see. I love it. Anyway, it's a shoe. It's so cute. So this is just a little book. Be sure you can title it whatever you want. And it's just open. And then I just have some pattern, I mean some cardstock in here. You, this is a good place for journaling or some just pictures you want to put in of a, of a, a special occasion. And then that just tucks back in there like that. I'm not going to say cute. So... <laughs> I'm so high off coffee. And this page I love as well. Recollections. This is my last of that trim. So, and then this page is a full place for a, a photo mat. And then I just got, uh, just have some bling here. Some of it's say in the pearls. And some of it is want to scrap. And then I have some recollections flowers. And this is an I Am Rose flower that I used, um, Glimmer Mist, uh, chalk, Chalkboard, and Lindy Stamp Game. And then I put a little blue in there. Cute. Oh, darn. said I was going to say cute. Um, and this page is so beautiful. This paper alone is just... Oh, got some bling here. And then I got a I Am Ro or Recollections flower. And a Recollections um, butterfly that's popped up. And then there's the paper that just speaks for itself. It's a good place for a photo mat. Um, cute. I'll let you guys cover that. And the last page is a little book. I have um, the Recollections little trim there. It's so shiny. Matches that shiny. So cute. And it just um, take this little bowl of loose and it opens up to some more shiny some more shiny goodness, as Steffa Gal says. <laughs> Some goodness, yummy goodness. And all of these photo mats pull out. So you can put a place, you can have a journaling here. You have a black marker if you want to write on that. And then if you have a white pen, you could use that. Otherwise, another place for a picture. Picture, picture, picture opportunities. I use the Martha Stewart punch for that. And then... Um, these are from that same lady who um, I bought those images off of her Etsy. I have a Florida leaf, some keys, and then that shoe again. And then I, um, not stickled, but I, you know, used crackle paint or crackle. I never know. The Tim Holtz crackle stuff on it. So that ties back up like so. That's from the Lady Couture paper. And then we have the back. So there you go, guys. If you're interested, head on over to my blog. And I just thank you guys for taking a look at my mini album and leaving a comment. I appreciate your comments. I love to read them. It makes makes me feel happy to hear happy, happy words. Anyway, um, talk to you guys later. Bye.